Bahamian architecture, like any regional architecture, is the architecture that springs from the buildings that have been created in the Bahamas with repetition. Meaning it is Bahamian architecture is what the, the result of the construction that we see here in the Bahamas that's being repeated over and over again. That repetition forms a style which is used to identify the Bahamas. And you might be familiar with it. I mean, especially if you've been to Nassau or you live in Nassau or you visited some of the family islands, you, you would have seen it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, so there are certain features, however, that characterize Bahamian architecture. Like we don't, we, we didn't just build these buildings out of the blue for no reason. There's a reason why the architecture is the way it is. And it's because of two things. Firstly, the climate. And secondly, because of our history. The climate, it has influenced our architecture because we live in a warm location and there's a need for shade and also protection from the elements, for example, hurricanes, and also like heavy rain, rainy seasons, for example. So people have taken the climate into consideration when they build and design um, the buildings. Also, our history, the history has influenced the style of the architecture, the methods of construction and forms of decoration used to express the Bahamian spirit. You may recall in a previous lesson when I mentioned that, that people they, in history, that they moved here and they brought their homes with them from the United States when they were um, running away from the United States. And so all of that is our history and, and how our history has influenced the architecture here in the Bahamas. Now we're going to talk about the two different or the two main methods of construction in the Bahamas. There are two traditional methods that have been used to build. One is masonry and the second is wood framing. So masonry deals with the art and craft of building and fabricating using stone, clay, brick, or concrete block. When you hear that someone is a mason, it is a person who deals with these, these different mediums in construction. And the wood frame, of course, that's the use of wood as a base material um, for the construction, which we can see in this picture here to the bottom right. We're going to look at each of these in detail, starting first with masonry, and then we're going to look at wood framing. The reason uh, masonry was popular in the Bahamas was because our islands are made up of limestone rock. And so the buildings were initially built from this limestone rock. However, the limestone is porous, meaning it, it has holes in it and water can seep right through it, which is also how we get our water lands at the bottom of the island. So it's a porous rock. And so it's not able to withstand water well or keep water out of it, that is. And so because of that, people have used plaster as an overcoat on top of the limestone in order to repel the water to make sure that the water doesn't seep into the building. And once the plaster is put over it, then it's usually painted in pastel colors. Because limestone rock is porous, in recent years, that stone has been replaced by the use of concrete blocks, also called cinder blocks. However, once the cinder blocks have been laid down, there's still plastering that takes place over the cinder blocks and then painting and decoration with different types of decorations like coins, that's what this word is there, coins, keystone moldings and other details. And this style of using the cinder blocks and then putting the, the plaster over it and then decorating it with all of these details like the coins and the keystone and the molding, that's called the Georgian style. And Georgian style name, not after Georgia, but named after King George, meaning it came about during the time of the reign of King George. Now we can talk about the second method of construction, which is wood frame. And wood frame construction is also known as balloon frame. It includes a skeleton of wooden members tied together horizontally and vertically with metal or wooden straps, and then covered with a skin of plaster, or wood to protect it from 
the elements outside. This um, wood frame construction is actually a strong form of construction. In fact, so strong that there's lots of wooden homes still standing that have been around for a very long time or wooden buildings that have been around for a very long time, especially on the family islands and the out islands. And the reason it's strong is because it can bend and it can move under pressure, under the pressure of winds, and therefore it can survive very strong winds without the worry of it collapsing.